to On Deck with Mercury. My name is Mercury Payton. I'm the town manager of Vienna. And today we have with us the director of planning and zoning, Cindy Petkak, the deputy director of planning and zoning, Mike DeRazio, and the principal planner, Kelly O'Brien. Uh, today's topic is the zoning code update, a new type of housing being proposed referred to as cottage housing or a pocket neighborhood. But before we get into the discussion, just want to remind everyone to do all the things that we've been talking about over the last year with regard to safety. We want everyone to make sure that you stay home if you're sick, make sure that you wash your hands frequently, make sure that you stay a good distance from one another, and if you can't do that, then hopefully you'll have an opportunity to put on a mask to make sure that we can continue to beat the virus. So today, I have with me Cindy Petkak, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the zoning code update and why it's important for the town. Mercury. Thank you, Mercury. So we're here today to talk about Code Create Vienna, Code Create for the zoning code with an emphasis on Code Create because we want to work with the community to update our zoning code. Our zoning code was created and adopted over 50 years ago in 1969. And while there have been changes in the world since 1969, for instance, with automobiles, if we were driving a car in 1969 Vienna, most likely it would be a station wagon, a nice family car. You don't see many station wagons on the road anymore. We've, we went from station wagons to minivans to, to SUVs, and they are now electric, and they're more efficient and computerized. The same has been said for zoning. Zoning has been modernized, and zoning codes are now written in a way that anybody can read and understand them. Our zoning code has many articles, many provisions, it's a lot of text. It's very difficult for someone who's not familiar with it to understand what the rules are and how they apply to their property. And that's what zoning does. It regulates the land and how you use it. So we started this process working with town council and the planning commission. And because it's such a major undertaking, we've hired a consultant to assist us, ZoneCo. And they specialize in drafting zoning regulations for towns of communities of our size. So they've been working with us since last September, drafting up regulations, working with the Council and Planning Commission to identify key themes and areas where we want to update the zoning ordinance in the effort to clarify, simplify, reorganize, and update our zoning regulations. And one new concept that we proposed is called cottage housing. And Mike Drazio, the Deputy Director of Planning and Zoning, is going to tell us a little bit about cottage housing. Thank you, Cindy. So Mike, how are you? Good to see you. So what makes cottage housing or pocket neighborhoods different from housing we have now in Vienna? Uh, so single family housing is uh, predominant in Vienna. Um, they make up most of the neighborhoods. Uh, they're single family detached units. We also have uh, townhomes, condos, and apartments in the town of Vienna. Uh, cottage housing is just another type of housing uh, something that we've heard from a lot of residents during this process is desire for a more diverse housing stock. So this is just another option where you have single unit housing. Uh, they're usually clustered. They're smaller units. Um, they're centered around like a common green. So that's what kind of what this is right here. So you can see that we're in a what would be a common area. And then these houses are kind of all clustered around this common area. And then at the end of it, you usually have a community building, which is this clubhouse right here. And that's kind of where people hang out and, you know, um, socialize. Great. So, uh, so where is this um, type of housing being proposed in Vienna? So that's something that we're working on with the consultant right now. Um, we're kind of looking at the uh, multifamily um, residential areas or areas that allow townhomes, apartments, condos. Um, another area that we're also looking at is the uh, transitional zone. Uh, we'd be calling it the neighborhood transitional uh, in the new um, district or new zoning districts. Uh, so this is kind of area where we currently allow uh, office, offices and some commercial uh, kind of, um, you know, less intense uh, uses currently. And, and what about setbacks and uh, lot coverage requirements? Are they the same or are they going to be different? So the short answer is no. Uh, so when we do the uh, zoning code update, we're working with a consultant right now. We're kind of finalizing what those setbacks should be, but they're not going to be what they are for a single family, a single unit uh, zoning. So it's going to be a little bit different. And, and what about parking? I know a lot of people probably have questions about parking. 
Uh, so that's one of the unique things about cottage housing. Uh, so typically with uh, cottage housing, you don't have parking right next to the development. Um, where in a multifamily unit uh, development, you might have structured parking underneath or you might have parking garages right next to it. Uh, as you can see here in this development, you have the parking that's located away from the cottage houses and the common green area. And this kind of allows the houses to be clustered in one area and the parking to be in another area. Excellent, Mike. Thanks a lot for all your um, explanation. Thank you. Okay. And Kelly, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Mercury? I'm doing, doing great. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the display we have here on the town green? Thank you, Mercury. So since not everyone is familiar with this type of housing, we wanted to create a scaled model and we're using dog houses. They fit the scale of what we're proposing. So in the model, one foot in the model is equal to 10 feet in the real world. So that's the scale and the dog houses just fit that perfectly. Uh, so we bought the houses, the town bought the houses and we put out the word for the community, for businesses and organizations and thankfully they came to our help and designed and customized all these amazing houses. And we want to thank all of those businesses. We have Scorpio Maggio's at the clubhouse, Green Hedges School here at House 101, Very Vienna, a group on Facebook and Instagram at 102. 103 is the Fisher Custom Homes. 104 is Greenheart Juice Shop. 105 is Pennywise Surf Shop. 106 is the 101 Neighborhood Foundation. 107 is uh, Mindfulness to Yoga. 108 is Vienna, Foodie, Vienna VA Foodies. And 109 at the end is JDA Custom Homes. So thank you to all those businesses for helping make this even more special. Thanks, Kelly. And how long will this display here be up? Uh, so uh, it, it's finally up now after getting all the houses and we'll keep it up until Sunday, May 23rd. Um, but you'll have time to come out and take a look, uh, look at the board here, get some information. Uh, we also encourage you to check out our website and learn more about it. Okay, and so uh, what happens to the dog houses when the display is over? That's an excellent question, thank you. Uh, so, you know, we, we won't need the houses after this. Uh, and we thank the businesses that sponsored them, but if you love these houses and are interested in purchasing one for yourself, there is an online auction. If you go to 32auction.com slash canine cottage house, uh, sorry, canine cottage court, uh, then you can bid on each of the houses until Wednesday, May 19th at 9 p.m. Then the uh, auction will close and staff will contact and make uh, arrangements for the houses to be picked up. Thanks, Kelly. Um, so I really appreciate um, the hard work, Cindy and Mike and, and Kelly, what you've done here for the display. I think this is it's going to be very positive for the town and we encourage everyone to participate and make sure that you let us know what your thoughts are. Please visit our website and you'll get more information. Uh, so thank you very much for your time here. And again, uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Our next uh, On Deck with Mercury will be on June 8th and we'll be talking about Liberty Amendments Month, which will be taking place from June 19th until July 19th. So everyone stay safe and thank you for joining us.